And certainly now I wouldn't I would not be forgiven for Tiz was. <laughs> no. Tiz was such a hoot. Yeah. And it, it was nothing clever. Was nothing, I mean we wrote scripts and things, but you know, we had a ball. And all the everybody, everybody in every band in Britain at that time, McCartney, Rog Daltrey, Queen, they all came on because they had a great laugh. And it was you know, just fun. It was great fun, you know, and occasionally we I mean, I remember once that somebody said, I saw a child crying on this show. You think, well, yeah, I mean, go to a kid's party, kids cry, you know, they, get, they fall over and stuff. We had this famous incident where, for one, <laughs> some of the things, this is my producer's hat, and I thought, that'd be a good idea. I decided we'd have a celebrity cage. Instead of just the yes. normal members of the public, we pelted it with rubbish. Let's get a load of celebrities in, get a bit of press and stuff. So we got um, status quo. Uh, a rock band from America called Goldie and the Gingerbreads. Um, we had Cozy Powell and Co. from Rainbow. Uh, Lemmy from Motet. Oh, and the late splendid John Peel. And I think one or two others. This cage was rammed. <laughs> so we, we pelted them with the usual rubbish and whatever. And then I'm doing a sketch with Lenny. And I suddenly thought, that's marijuana. I am ostensibly the producer of a children's programme going out live and somebody has spoken <laughs> a split. Dope. Did you find out who it was? <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, basically, Lenny and I were doing a sketch. He was dressed up as a waiter or something. I went, I know what this is. And Lenny's like, Why, where are you going? And I went, forget it. And just pelted the cage with water and buckets and the offending item was put out. I can't tell you who it was. I think it was because we Rick were in... <laughs> oh, God, I didn't even need to push. I was going to let you get away with that. 